they were pulling a you guys. So you did it first. That's just right. so it's out there. Let's put that right there in the Hollywood Reporter. We did it first. It just took us I imagine, two years. I imagine Bill Lawrence had a pilot script for Ted Lasso before us. Yeah. I imagine. Yeah. That's my guess. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney are your real life Ted Lassos. The duo made headlines last year after purchasing Wrexham AFC, a fifth-tier football club from Wales that competes in the National League. For two American stars, owning a soccer team seemed like an out-of-the-box move for many. The two chatted with The Hollywood Reporter, giving insight into their decision after chronicling their journey as owners of the club in the upcoming FX docuseries, Welcome to Wrexham. It's an underdog story and it's about interconnectivity between the club and the community. Listen, some people have called this your real life Ted Lasso moment. You guys even got a shout out in season two. What's your take on all the comparisons and also where do things stand now? I know there are biscuits delivered at one point, so what's, what's the status? Jason called me not about um, football at all, but about working with Apple because uh, Ted Lasso had not even come out yet and I have a show called Mythic Quest and he was just asking me about what it's like to work with Apple and we were talking, just swapping stories just about the, the process. And then I mentioned to him something about, he asked what am I doing next and I mentioned this, this football endeavor and then he told me what his, show, what, he sh what his show was about and I was like, oh man, we gotta get our show out before his but I think they beat us by about two, by about <laughs> they two did, years. They, beat us. So they were pulling a you guys, so you did it first, That's just right. so it's out there. Let's put that right there in The Hollywood Reporter. We did it first. It just took us I imagine, two years. I imagine to... Bill Lawrence had a pilot script for Ted Lasso before us, yeah. I imagine. That's yeah. my guess. Reynolds says he didn't claim to be an expert on the sport prior to being involved with the club, but now call the two addicted. It's one of those sports that I understand now why it's the most popular sport on the planet. It's, it's just, it's like an absolutely legal drug. It is a narcotic that should be banned everywhere because I'm obsessed with it now and I wish I wasn't. Uh, but it is, it is truly, I think, understanding it and falling in love with Wrexham, the town, the community, the club, the personnel is like, change, it's really changed my life. Touching on the media coverage surrounding their purchase of Wrexham, the two note that they were aware of the pressure surrounding their decision. If this goes south, um, there's not a lot of avenues that you can take. It, you, you start to burn money at such a rate that it becomes exponential. And that's what happens with a lot of these clubs. And that's why they're tumbling down out of the leagues because each time you get relegated, you lose television contracts, you lose sponsorships, and it's really difficult to get back up. So, you know, we have a long-term plan, but, if, but we can't go into an editing room and, and fix the movie or fix the TV show. Real life has to play out. And so there is a version of this where this things do not go well and we have to figure out what the next move is. It's no secret Wrexham is seen as underdogs in the league, something Reynolds and McElhenney say they related to in their own respective fields. For you guys, what was either a movie or a project that you worked on where you really felt like the total underdog and you felt that imposter syndrome really set in? I would, yeah. I would say it from my perspective, it was, you know, I would say Deadpool. I mean, I was trying, 10 years I was trying to get that thing made. And, you know, and then when, when I was finally at the precipice of actually getting to shoot it, I was, you know, I was getting cold feet because there's so much at stake. So I really felt that a little bit with, with Deadpool because I'd been in the comic book arena before uh, to, to no real success. And I thought, wow, if, I, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna let people down. And I, and I, that was my biggest fear was just letting, letting folks down who loved this character. Certainly for us, um, Sunny um, in, in, in the very beginning, um, really for the first four or five seasons, uh, where we felt like we were not really getting any traction, but we kept showing up and doing our best work and trying to figure out if we could find an audience. Now, even though Wrexham's first season under the two did not pan out the way they hoped, they're both gearing up and excited for the season ahead. And with the purchase of Wrexham, McElhenney was quick to point out that Reynolds is no short of business ventures outside of Hollywood. You have movie star money, alcohol money, Mint Mobile money, and cybersecurity money. My question is, <laughs> what are all those things gonna get you next? <laughs> That's one aspect of why I brought him on. It sounded like four. He's, he's um, globally <laughs> famous. What was the connection between you and Wrexham Football Club? We had no direct connection. It was just a feeling. What me and my dad thought was because Wrexham's red, Deadpool's red. Though. That's the real reason, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Wrexham premieres on August 24th on FX. For more on this story, head to THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep watching The Hollywood Reporter News.